Welcome to PGS Maths. In this video, I will be looking at how to share using a ratio. Now, when asked to share, usually we look at division. So if we were asked to share £1,500 between two people, we would divide the amount by two. 1500 divided by two equals 750. So if each person was to receive an equal share of this money, they would both get £750. But this assumes that they both get the same and they both deserve the same. Ratio can change the balance between how things are shared around. If we assumed in this example that the person on the right did a little bit more work, it would seem fair that they receive more of the money. So we're given this ratio, 2 to 3. If we think about this as parts of work that they've done, on the left these two parts are like the person on the left has done two parts of work. So the 3 on the right is like saying they've done three parts of work. So if we think of it in this context, technically that would mean that altogether there were five parts of work that had been completed. So by adding the ratio together we find out what it is that we're going to be dividing by. So now we know that we've got five parts we can split the £1,500 between those five parts. So whatever amount you're trying to split, you divide it by the total number of parts in your ratio. 1,500 divided by 5 equals 300. Now that doesn't mean that on the left we have 300 and on the right we have 300. That just means that each part is worth 300. So on the left, we have two parts. So that's going to be two lots of 300, which equals 600 pounds. On the right, we have three parts. So this would be three times 300, which is 900 pounds. So splitting into this ratio, we would get £600 to £900. What we should notice is that these two values still add up to £1,500, but have kept within this ratio. Another typical problem is based on age. <coughs> This follows exactly the same idea. We try and work out how many years there are all together. So the total number of years of these two people added together would be 27 add 23, which is 50. So there are 50 years between them. So for every year that one of them has been alive, we can work out how much they should get. So 1,500 divided by 50 equals 30 pounds. So the person on the left is 27 years old, so he'll receive 27 lots of 30. That's 30 pounds for every year he's been alive. The person on the right will receive 23 lots of 50 of 30 sorry <laughs> so if we now work this out 27 times 30 will give us 81 810 pounds i believe and then 23 times 30 will give us 690 
If we added those two amounts together, we would come back to our £1,500. We've kept this ratio just by working out what the multiplier is, how much money each person would get for each year they were alive. This could span across three people. If we had another person who was 30 years old, that would have increased our total and therefore decreased the amount each person gets, but the method stays the same. So why don't you give it a go in today's challenge? Three children are arguing over a share of £1,000. Child A says they should share based on their age. B says they should share equally. Child C says they should share based on their height. The information for the three children is shown below. But can you work out whose idea would give that child the best amount of money? For example, if child, if child A received the most money, and it was based on age, then child A would be the best off. Leave your answers in the comments section below. Remember to subscribe for future videos. And follow us on Twitter at PGS Maths or subscribe to the Facebook page which is facebook.com forward slash PGS Maths.